Hey to everyone, I'm Noni PD. I'm an undergraduate in facilities management in the Department of Building Economics, University of Mysore. Today I came here to uh, present the findings of my research, which I conducted on the topic enhancing the psychological well-being of office employees in Sri Lanka: a guideline for office workplace design. Uh, so this is the outline of my presentation today, and. Uh, after I selected uh, my research topic, I conducted a thorough background study for my research. Uh, the basic uh, intention of conducting a background study for my research was to develop uh, working definitions uh, for the key terms of my research. Uh, one is the psychological well-being of office and person Sri Lanka, and the other one is uh, the workplace design uh, of office buildings. Uh, so basically, uh, other than uh, the development of the working definitions for the two key terms, I wanted to identify the factors in an office workplace which influence the psychological well-being of office employees. As you can see in the slide, through the background study, I could identify numerous factors which influence the psychological well-being of office employees. And also, I identified that workplace design of office buildings as a key factor which impacts the psychological well-being of office employees. Uh, after that, I wanted to develop the research problem. Basically, I could identify using the literature sources and available statistics that the psychological well-being of office employees in Sri Lanka is in a critical situation where a high percentage of the uh, office workforce in uh, Sri Lanka were identified to suffer from work-related stress and mental stress. Uh, but uh, it was identified that in Sri Lanka, a very little attention is paid for the improvement of the um, uh, psychological well-being of office employees through office workplace design and this was basically because of the invalid shared assumption in the society that an office is a very safe and healthy workplace when compared to a construction site or maybe uh, a factory building and also it was identified that very little number of uh, researchers were available addressing the psychological well-being of office employees related to the office workplace design in Sri Lanka. Uh, therefore, I developed my research uh, question, research problem as uh, how could the psychological well-being of office employees be enhanced through workplace design in office buildings in Sri Lanka. Uh, so the main aim of my research was to develop a guideline for a workplace design of office buildings in Sri Lanka in order to enhance the psychological well-being of office employees. So the achievement of this aim was through the achievement of these four objectives listed in this slide. Uh, so uh, after that, I conducted a thorough literature research uh, a review uh, after referring uh, the literature sources in Sri Lanka as well as uh, in uh, other foreign countries. So basically, I identified uh, two main categories of factors in office design which influence psychological well-being of office employees. And the one uh, category of factors was office layouts. So this basically uh, discusses the physical arrangement and two main layouts were identified as uh, open plan office layout and uh, the uh, cellular office layout. So open plan office layout, layout was identified as the upcoming trend in office design in Sri Lanka. So the scope of the research was limited to open plan office layouts only. And other than that, I identified seven office uh, counts factors which influence the psychological well-being of office employees. There were noise, privacy, lighting, thermal comfort, indoor air quality, colors, uh, plants and natural elements. Uh, so other than that, uh, during my literature review, I identified uh, the main positive and negative impacts uh, created by these office comfort factors in an open plan office layout on the psychological well-being of office employees and also the strategies that can be used in open plan office design uh, in order to enhance the psychological well-being of office employees through the uh, improvement of these office comfort factors. So this is uh, the research methodology which I followed in conducting my research. So this was based on the qualitative research approach and I used the case study strategy and I used the semi-structured interviews as the main data collection uh, technique and also the data analysis was conducted through manual content analysis method. So uh, this is about the data collection. So basically I uh, wanted to conduct uh, uh, semi-structured interviews uh, with five employees who are working in this open plan office layout in offices and two uh, uh, management uh, representatives who are involved in open plan office design in these two selected cases. And also in order to achieve literal replication, I uh, uh, selected two office buildings in Colombo uh, which have a similar open plan office layout and uh, with uh, a similar uh, operation and a similar number of uh, employees. And also uh, the unit of analysis of my research uh, in uh, the selection of the uh, cases was office workplaces in Sri Lanka and uh, the 
uh, that was the case boundary and unit of analysis was uh, the impacts of workplace design uh, on the psychological well-being of office employees. So after I conducted these uh, semi-structured interviews uh, from the uh, employees and management representatives uh, in two cases, I also conducted uh, uh, expert interviews with four industry professionals who are engaged in office design in Sri Lanka in order to validate and further elaborate my findings from these uh, case studies. Uh, so basically I have uh, very uh, uh, represented my findings in a very summarized manner. So as you can see, this uh, slide shows the findings related to this noise factor only. Uh, so basically, I identified uh, what are the positive impacts created by noise on the psychological well-being of office employees, as well as the uh, negative impacts. And also, I have basically identified the reasons uh, for these impacts. And then I have also identified the strategies which can be used um, to improve uh, the uh, positive psychological impacts and to reduce uh, the negative psychological impact. In this manner, I uh, had the same findings for the remaining six of these comfort factors as well. So uh, I uh, summarized all my findings related to these of these comfort factors to a guideline which can be used for enhancing the psychological well-being of office employees in Sri Lanka in open plan office design. Uh, so one of the main conclusions of my research was that office uh, design plays a key role in uh, determining the psychological well-being of office employees in Sri Lanka. Therefore, uh, I recommended uh, the guideline I developed uh, for industry practitioners in Sri Lanka uh, to refer as a guideline in office workplace design in order to enhance the psychological well-being of office employees. Furthermore, I uh, also... Uh, uh, provided recommendations for further research opportunities as well. So uh, actually, um, uh, what I have basically learned uh, from uh, my research was that uh, basically this uh, psychological well-being is not something that we can see. It's something that is inside us, inside each of us. So it's very important that we pay adequate attention to it because um, uh, maybe uh, we are concerned about the physical well-being or maybe the ergonomics, the furniture arrangement, uh, and also other hazards like fire and all in our office environment. But whether we pay adequate attention to the psychological well-being of office employees is questionable. And it was proved that we do not do that in Sri Lanka in an adequate manner. So that was why I was um, uh, forced to carry out this uh, research uh, because I also have had the same experience uh, during my industrial training session. So uh, I was uh, uh, inspired to the determine ways to improve the psychological well-being of office employees in Sri Lanka. Uh, so other than that, this um, uh, the scope of my research was limited uh, to the open plan office design only. And uh, also I conducted uh, the research uh, uh, using the cases in the Kalama district only because um, it was difficult for me to uh, achieve a broader scope with the restrictions and uh, difficulties in uh, accessibility and all. But I have provided recommendations uh, like uh, it's not only obviously workplace design but there are other factors in an office workplace which enhance uh, which influence psychological well-being of office employees and also uh, there are uh, some different other uh, 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 workplace types other than offices which uh, which also can influence the psychological well-being of office employees therefore with all this uh, i um, end up my presentation and uh, thank you very much for joining